this is going to be relevant to every single crypto investor out there. And the simple truth about technology and human attention, and this is more and more evident in crypto, guys. So let's talk about this today. And this is going to relate to a key project, uh, a project that I've been talking about for a while. And most of you know that I absolutely love Casper and what they've done. However, everybody loves the new shiny toy in town. And I want to talk about that psychology today. So this uh, particular article has got nothing to do with crypto, but where we sort of um, the psychology we need is the human brain is amazing, but not perfect. And this is again, I'm going somewhere with this in terms of how you need to look at crypto right now. What you're hearing is um you know popular opinion is out there the new shiny toys in town so what you have what you bought yesterday means nothing today and it's not true this is how retail investors make the biggest mistakes you can see a cryptocurrency that's never been in a bull market before and just because it's been out for two months somebody will tell you now nah, that's rubbish it's it's old no it's not and the importance of the cycle uh it's very key to where that goes now that comes when it comes to attention when it comes to rumors fud fomo all the all the emotions that we go through in uh, in in our daily crypto investments so the it says technology is to blame for our short attention span and surprisingly it's easy to blame technology for the short attention span um but of course we're looking at things like constant news you know telephones and and you know just trying to see where you can take an edge in life and this goes to the heart of my um my uh, discussion today which is why i think this relates to what i'm about to talk about with casper so many of you know and many of you are asking the question you know what the hell is going on with casper are uh, mine is selling uh is casper no longer this um great technology that is aiming to solve the tr uh, trilemma and ultimately, what is the team doing in order to achieve what the masses want, which is 100x? Nowadays in crypto, if you talk about 25 or 10x, people just laugh at you. And I think sometimes you've got to be realistic with the overall picture. We're all guilty. We are all guilty in hyping projects, but not to the extent where it's the at the detriment to the investors. So let's talk about Casper. Is Casper, what's going on with Casper? Is Casper dead? I mean, is, is there a new shiny thing that's going to outpace Casper? Now, partially, attention is key, right? So just take a look at my channel, for example. I went from doing a daily Casper videos every single day to, to opening up my channel to other projects that I invest in because I have over 40 different cryptocurrencies. In a market where you have 50,000 coins, 20, you know, 1,000 new shitty tokens being printed a day, you know, the, the idea of just sticking to few cryptos has become challenging, especially if you're a content creator, especially if you're an investor like myself, because I've got to put my money where my mouth is, right? So, and I do love the space. I love the technology. Having said that, um, the discussion that, this is going to prompt is quite key because you want to know what's happening with Casper. So let's just go back um, a year ago. Okay. So not even a year ago, let's go back six months ago. So what Casper has done is quite unique in the cryptocurrency space in the sense that it's been running and running and running consistently setting new records at the bear market. Now, obviously, the, the, the guys who, who obviously, um, you know, the, the founder of the project and the lead developers, these are top tier people, right? And they're never satisfied with just having a cryptocurrency that is fast, that produces 10 blocks per second in testnet and mainnet and, and making those achievements as real as they can be. So the team have been really, really busy. I mean, digging out information to see what they are doing. And you have to remember, this is a fair launch, no VC backed uh, cryptocurrency that is directly to us. Now, most people will say, oh, man, I went to the pre-sale. I did a pre-sale for 
for I don't know any of these other layer ones say or celestia or all of these vcs are shilling this came to the masses this came directly to the people and you have to then realize that if there's no such you know there's no billions or millions of dollars in vc money things take time to mature having said that did you know you can actually book your uh, a hotel or a flight or activities using casper because don't forget if this is going to be silver to bitcoin's gold if this is going to be everyday money and this is why people don't really understand what casper is all about casper is real utility now the obvious one is oh they don't have a smart contract to no so p2p payment um, system very fast transaction on blocks uh, per second you know almost instant finality solving the trilemma cardano did I don't know. I mean, it, astronomical numbers with no smart contracts. So you've got to remember, no Binance, no Coinbase, no smart contracts. Where do you think you're going to see the gains? And on top of that, the team is working extremely hard to to uh, to develop the ecosystem. So I would honestly say, don't be fudded out of your bags. Be very careful when you look at Casper and you see another problem that we have is we want an instant gratification because we live in that we live in different times if you were investing in crypto in 2016 you know things happen gradually but you weren't consistently saying okay let me uh you know you just woke up one morning and you saw uh your your wallet go ridiculous and most people never sold anyway in those days <laughs> so you have to remember look the 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 fud out there the biggest thing the biggest negativity right now is people need to create content and they need to talk about a million different projects every day they have a gem and this is how you lose money if you invest gradually and this is not again i have to keep myself clear out of this it's not financial advice this is what i do i find my bags i find my top top picks and i dca into them all right, this is the most proven method. Okay, yeah, there's going to be the odd uh, casino uh, casino play. There's going to be the great odd layer one, the great odd AI. Recently, we bought GTAI. We bought Alephium. We bought um, AI Tech. Um, we've expanded. Um, in fact, all of the coins, the majority of the project that, that I'm holding for this bull cycle have never been through a cycle before. So the reason for that is it's all about price discovery. We need things to go to a certain direction and then obviously they will discover that price. But it's very rare that cryptocurrency comes from what it did, say, four years ago and then it does 100x from there. It's It doesn't happen, guys. The new cryptocurrencies are where it is and Casper is new. And if you're using this uh, yardstick of a two months or one six months or whatever no that's not how you qualify it you wait till the bull cycle you try to wait till um the price runs up you wait for your coinbase binance listing and then we talk about the incoming all-time high that's going to potentially happen in um that is definitely going to maybe happen in february we don't know that but this is an accumulation zone guys 20 million volume in the last 24 hours okay and you can see here, we do not have any of the two major liquid uh, uh, exchanges globally. We're talking about exposing millions and millions of retail investors through Binance and Coinbase, along with the news that's going to be absolutely uh, crazy on this one. So, look, um, I'm literally, I mean, I'm holding a ton of Casper on the public wallet. Also, I've, I've made it to a decent level buying it on a on a weekly basis when i make these videos but i would say look there's a there's an article here and uh we're not we're not always going to look at the positive side obviously if there's a negative side to a project we'll talk about it and it says here the indicators show casper is bullish on all time frames will cast hit all new time high in february and again guys it's uh this is really key the things like this you've got to be you've got to basically know when these things go sideways for such a long time it's called accumulation all right 
the RSI is recovering in a good range. So people have done their technical analysis and I think we're going to have an old season in February. So yeah, listen, um, stay positive. Think of the long term. Do not waste your time thinking that you're going to get rich from crypto just in the next two months. You may put yourself in a very strong position. But guys, overall, we are in the most unique time because if this was in uh, August 20, 2020 or January 2020 and, and, and you obviously you were going to hope to go to the top with the uh, 2021 run, life would have been different for you. So I'm taking you through this as a warning. Please stay positive. Try to keep your attention span on your existing bags. Fill one up and keep it moving. You know, if you want, jo join our Patreon um, at $9 a month. We're all about the community. We don't, we're, not, we're not trying to get rich from your $9, guys. There's two cups of teas. I do nothing with that. I try to hire people to, to help me with the admin side of things. So, But there's some fantastic people there. And um, definitely get a tangent. There's a story I told last night where one of my, one of my Patreons got hacked, I think, through a link trying to use trust wallet get a tangent guy a tangent wallet guys use the code dxb join the patreon and uh yeah definitely we may we may see each other one day in this beautiful city that's called dubai because we've got a real advantage of having tax-free uh uh tax-free uh you know ability to have tax-free money here you know and if you join our discord i mean a lot of things are happening now i've got i'm still building a lot of the stuff but you know we've got you know we've got really good things that are going on now um in the vip and uh, you know things are happening here okay slowly and slowly we're going to be taking over the um uh, the space guys so yeah i'll see you on the next one take care guys cheers <laughs>